Here's a question for you. What sense does it make to give someone the power to cast a vote? A vote that is 620,000 times more powerful than any represented individual in the nation, and then restrict that vote with laws imposing fines and or negation of a vote if that vote isn't cast in favor of an associated party. Why give someone the power to vote at all if it's hindered by restrictions? Restricting the votes of the Electoral College by fines and negation of the vote is an unjustifiable offense against what inherently defines us as a free country. If the president's singular job is to protect the Constitution, it would appear someone failed. This seems like a constitutional right to me, and shame on the states that allowed laws restricting the votes of those in the Electoral College. Our singular right ordained by God is the power to choose our responses to circumstances around us. The good news is we can still make a difference in this upcoming presidential election. I present here two petitions, one for the voters in general and one for the Electoral College. To the voters, pray regarding your vote. God will guide you and then vote. To the 538 members of the Electoral College, be brave and strong. Vote for the voters even if consequences follow. Your vote equals 538 to 333.33 million. That's power. Your vote is 620,000 times more powerful than the voice of any individual member of our nation and 300,000 times more powerful than any individual voter. We trust you will use your power wisely and in consideration of the nation you represent. Your state owes you the same confidence and should allow you to vote however you see fit. To insist otherwise seems like blatant malfeasance. Lord, please help us all to do what is right. In Jesus' name, amen.